adventures um right now this adventure seems daunting but i know that once it's all done it'll be so worth it we purchased uh, about three weeks ago almost four weeks ago i think we purchased a 29 foot um 2006 jag by kc all right we are homeowners we have the title of our slightly used but perfect new home. It's a 2006 KZ Jag, if you've ever heard of that. And uh, you know, it's it's not bad. It's it's got. I'm gonna paint it and fix it up. Um, it's it's a great trailer. It's an older trailer. There's a lot of things we need to, to kind of tend to. But the family that we bought it from, they had six kids and they all lived in this trailer. So it's already been modified. I'll show you some of the pictures of when they lived in it. Um, it's already been modified for living. So it's been, you know, the dinette's been taken out. The, the, um, the, the furniture that was in it has been taken out, which was a big deal for me. Um, so we were really lucky to find it. Um, so now the, the work begins. Um, we have to be out of our apartment in four weeks. We are downsizing again. If you don't know, we uh, lived in an Airstream, a 27 foot Airstream, it's 1976 Airstream, when we were in Georgia before we came here. We actually brought it here, intending to stay living in it, and there was just no place to put it here. So we ended up selling it when we moved here and, and then moved into the apartment that we're in now. So, um, you know, Harrison was just a baby. He doesn't really remember it. This is his first experience having actually going to be living in a trailer. But I'm excited. I love this kind of lifestyle. It intrigues me. I love to live simple. And so I'm excited to go down that path again. However, it has taken a lot to get my house ready. My house is still not ready, but I've been working. Every spare moment I have, I've been packing and purging. I am Okay, your drink is right there in that box on the bed. So there's a lot to do. Stay with us if you want to see our journey. Uh, we passed her here in Colorado, and so we've got it parked outside of our church. So it's great because you know we don't we're not paying rent. Um, we'll use electric for a little bit. Our goal is to eventually get solar, so we're completely off grid. But for now, we'll have a uh, plug-in um, here. So yeah, this is what we're gonna do for a little while. We want to buy a house next year, so this is what we need to do uh, to make that happen. So I just came in. I hadn't been in the trailer. It just got moved to where it's going to be permanently um, yesterday. So I wanted to get in here and kind of start cleaning it and, and getting a feel for it a little bit more. Um, so I just took down all the curtains and put those in a pile so I can take those home and wash them. Um, I, I want to wash the walls down tonight, but it might not happen. I might have to do it in the morning. One of the main things I want to do, I cleaned. This is the sofa that they have put in here, which is great. It turns into a bed. It's a jackknife. Um, we're probably not keeping it because we have furniture that works for us. However, there is a hole on that side of the wall that you can see daylight. It's just a hole this big, and you can see right outside. So anything, any environments could get in. Hopefully they haven't. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen anything yet, so ah, fingers crossed. Um, I think that was a fly, but it kind of spooked me because there's no electric right now. So it's hot and it's kind of dark. So I'm, I'm working in the cool of the evening, hoping to get some stuff done, but I don't have sunshine so um i'm gonna have to have some cool mornings where i have light and coolness to get some work done until we get hooked up to electric which we're working on so um yeah what i'm gonna do right now is is move this this uh couch and put um something in that hole for now just to do uh until we get a permanent solution so yeah just stay with us on the journey we have a lot to come in transforming this it's they had it really cute for them but it's really uh really lived in really worn out so we're going to kind of freshen it up 
and get it ready for us for our little tiny home. And uh, we're excited. Are you excited about living in the camper? Yeah. Yeah. Where's your bedroom? He's playing Roblox mm -hmm. already. Where's your bedroom? I care. So we'll give you a tour when we have some more daylight, and of course we'll give you tours all along, especially as after we get it done and ready, we'll I get a full a tour. Time. So um, we're excited. You know, we love to camp, so it just kind of all goes together. Um, I know people think we're probably crazy, but uh, we chose this lifestyle. We don't have to do it, um, you know, but, but we want to do it, and we want to make those sacrifices so that we can put, um, put our attention on other things. So... Uh, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos as we go forward from here. Um, but we're excited, and um, it starts now. It's hot. It's hot. Um, and uh, I don't usually wear shorts, but I knew I was going to be working in the van. So there's a nice breeze outside, but I can't get all the windows open because they're crazy it's old it's an old trailer uh so she'll have to help me with that one because these two in the living area are going to be important to have a cross breeze sorry buddy i just realized that i'm kind of slanted a little bit um yeah i'm gonna need all the windows open the one up on on the bed the bedroom you can't see it because that broken fridge is right there which is a whole other story but um the one on that side doesn't have a screen it's just an escape window so it goes way out, but bugs can get in, but it lets a lot of air in. So right now I'm compromising. If bugs get in, they get in. But there's some holes in the walls that they've had pictures over. So there's you know there's quite a bit of damage to the walls and and nothing structural I don't think. Some holes in places. So there's there's a little bit of uh, things that have to happen before we can start even like painting and putting paper up and because I've got pill and stick paper for these walls so yeah we've got a work cut out for us for sure I'm glad I went ahead and got in here tonight to see how much has to be done you know what I can't move it they've got an anchor to something so I'm gonna have to do that from the outside Look at this, Bubba. It folds down and you have a place to put your drink. There. What? Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is the power cord. Stop. Good morning. Last night I was in the trailer and tried to do a little cleaning, but it was really hot still. And um, you couldn't see anything because we don't have electric yet um, hooked up. But the windows were really tinted and there was no natural light. It was already cloudy. So, <coughs> so it's still in the 60s. It's almost 70. It's 7.49 a.m. I left them at home for a couple of hours to come and um try to get this trailer cleaned a little bit more this morning and then i gotta rush back and take a shower and get ready to go to a lunch appointment um that we have so um yeah gonna do some more cleaning got lots and lots and lots of cleaning to do so we're here to um do some cleaning sorry about that that i need to fix that um rubber anyway uh it's early still cool and there's sunshine so hopefully i can get some stuff done Let there be light. I know 
they're like this is probably up here so to keep heat out but I've got to have some more natural light it can't be dark and gloomy in here I have to admit that like last night I felt pretty pretty discouraged um, because it was dark and it was hot and it was dirty <laughs> But uh, being in here today and having that natural light and um, cleaning, it makes me feel so much more hopeful. There's still a lot of things to fix in here. Um, but you know what? Dang it, I'm going to make this our home. I did it with the Airstream, and I'm going to do it here too. So it's going to take some, uh, some, some effort, but it's going to happen. So... Ah, uh, it's a lot of work. Um, we took a little break. But I'm so glad because that, um, that, uh, peel stuff for the windows came right off. And it let so much more light in. So, I'm going to take the one off of this window and, uh, get some more light in here. <coughs> this place is dirty. It's been on a dirt road and I don't know how long it's been sitting there and it just dirty just dirt <laughs> so i'm just trying to clean a little bit i'm focused on the living area i'm i'm not really worried about like the kitchen or the bedroom or the bathroom or anything like that i'm just trying to get the living area done because tomorrow i'm hoping someone's going to help me um wallpaper it's peel and stick but it's like looks like shiplap so i'm hoping we can get that done tomorrow so i need the walls to be cleaned um and i might get to the cabinets because i'm going to paint some of the cabinets so I just needed those to be wiped down for today. So I'm just focused on the living area right now. Um, but anyway, I'm going to take that other till and stick off. And I'm going to sit for a minute and relax. Everything's a lot of work for me. <sighs> Tired. <laughs> I have the whole day ahead of me. Uh, should I have waited? Yeah, probably. But I wanted to see, like, you know, I wanted to see progress. I wanted to see two things in this area. Clean. And it's mostly clean. <clears throat> I wanted to see a little bit of my decor. <laughs> Just a little bit. So I hung one strip. Um, someone's going to help me finish it tomorrow. I realized when I did it that I was going to go horizontal rather than vertical, but that's okay. I think it'll be easier to go vertical than, hor than matching up horizontal, so I'm not worried about it. But anyway, this is the what this wall facing me that the main living wall is going to look like. All this time I was I was talking. I thought I was recording and I wasn't recording. I hate that happens. So it is nine o'clock. It is hot already and I'm tired and it's time for me to go home uh, and get showered and get ready for um, our appointment. The boys should be up or getting up. Um, but yeah, it's 9 a.m. and it's already getting warm in here. Uh, so my rechargeable fan just went off. So I went ahead and put some more paper up. Yeah. Um, should I wait on the perfectionist to help me? Yeah. Did I? No. Um, you know, most people say, oh, you need to fix the holes. You need to, you know, fix things and then do the finishing stuff. It's not the way I want to do it. I need to see some bang. I need to see some design to inspire me. So, you know what? It's my house. <laughs> I'll do it like I want. Sean even probably get aggravated at me for doing it already. That's okay. Um, I need to get an X-Acto knife, so I like to go around the window and underneath the cabinets and cut a nice straight line. So that's not done yet. Um, I'll probably get that tonight and do it in the morning. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. Um, I'm gonna go home, take a shower, get ready, and we have a lunch appointment up north. 
So, uh, that's all probably I'll get done today in here because it'll be too hot all day and even this evening. The early morning is the only time I can stand to be in here and actually work. And I have the most energy in the morning. I don't have any energy later in the day. So, anyway, you guys want to see the finished wall when it's done. Make sure you check out our next video because I think it'll be finished. Um, and we'll see what it really looks like. You know, it's kind of that farmhouse look and that's super, super trendy right now. I'm not a farm girl, but I do like the um, design. It's kind of a shabby chic. That farmhouse is called a farmhouse look, but to me it's kind of shabby chic. So I still really like that look, um, and I like the shiplap. So uh, it's not finished, but I'll show you what I've got done. And uh, come back to our next video. Make sure you like and subscribe this so you see our next video. And the next video, it should be done. And maybe a couple more things. All right. Follow us on our journey. Hit life. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you on our next one. Bye.